this is Summer Art Academy at the Knoxville Museum of Art. I'm Wendy and I'll be teaching Recycle Your World Part 5. Today we will be making owl figures out of cardboard tubes. We're going to make these fun little 3D guys with found materials and cardboard tubes, paint, and feathers if you have them. Okay, so first of all, to make our owls, we want to use our paper tube. And if you would like to cut it down, you may, or you can just keep it the size it is. This one is a longer tube, and so I think I want to make it a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to pinch the tube and just cut it right at the bottom. Okay, just cut through there. So now I have a slightly shorter tube. And the next thing you want to do is you want to make the ears. So you need these pointy little owl ears. So what I want to do is I'm going to pinch it at the top. So just take your pointer finger and your thumb and just pinch it right there in the middle. I'm going to pinch it and then I'm going to just push down. If you need a family member to help you with this, you can, but it's pretty easy to just push it down in there so that it creates a little dip. Okay. So now I just want to pinch the ear a little bit. Okay, and you just need to work with it a little bit to make sure that it's you've got your pointed ears. Okay. So it's tucked in down at the top. And you can add a little glue if you want, but it's really not necessary. It lays pretty flat just like that. Okay. So now I'm ready to draw the owl. So now I want to draw my face and body of the owl. So here you can see I've drawn some eyes, a little beak, and a little feather chest, and continue with the face up to the ears. So the best place to start in drawing is to go ahead and draw the eyes. That's a great place to get started. So for eyes, you just want two big circles because owls have those big round eyes. So you can make them even a little exaggerated if you want to. So just two circles for the eyes. I'm going to draw a little triangle shape for the beak. So that's just the letter V and connect the top. Okay. Then I'm going to create the bottom with the feathered chest. So I'm just going to draw a U shape. So it's just a big U across the front. And then you can go and connect that across the top as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just kind of circle around, just follow the shape of that dip, and then connect it. So then you have his face and body. And we're going to be painting these so you can add a lot more detail later, but I like to go ahead and just give some little kind of feather marks there so we can just be able to know where to paint in a little while. And you can even add in the pupils and the eyes. We have buttons to add. If you have buttons around the house, you're going to add those. Or if you just want to have them drawn in and painted, that's great too. Okay, so there we have our owl so far. And these are just two different examples of the owl. So now we want to add color to our owls. We want to make them really colorful and just bright and festive. So I have an assortment of different 
paints here. I have a pink, uh, it's kind of a bright blue, a yellow, a red, but you can use any colors that you like, whichever colors you think will work best for your owl. So first of all, I'm gonna just have a nice little piece of recycled cardboard here for my palette. And I'm just gonna take some paint and just try to squirt out a little bit. A little goes a long way. I'm gonna squirt out a little bit of the blue. I'll set that aside. I'm going to add some, I think for this owl, I want it to be blue and pink. And get that to come out. And I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. I think those colors are cheerful for our owl. Okay. So then I think I'll add a little red too, just to give it that extra pop of deeper color. Okay, so here I'm using four different colors. And again, you can use as many colors or as little as you want. So I've got my four colors lined up there. And I'm just going to take just a regular paintbrush. It's good to use one that is kind of pointy or small so that you can really get in there with the detail. You don't want a really big brush because then it'll be hard to get in all those little tiny places. Okay, so first of all, I think I'm going to use my yellow for his beak. So I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow in there. And I think just to carry that yellow into the rest of the owl, I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow here on some of the chest feathers. Okay. I've just got a little bit of yellow there. Okay, now I'm just going to take my brush and just dip it in some water. Okay, I'll just keep it there. And then I'm gonna take another brush. You can use just one brush and clean in between or have several on hand to use. So I'm gonna take another brush here. And I think I would like to use a pink for the face. So this is where you need to just really take your time and go slow. Just add the color around your drawing. And the great thing is you usually have a lot of um, paper rolls around your house. So just ask your family if you can save them so that you can make as many of these as you want. You can make a whole owl family if you would like. Okay. So now I've got the pink face. Okay, I am going to just clean off that brush. Okay, you can use a paper towel to just kind of wipe off that paint. All right, so now I'm going to use some blue for the tummy area. That's a really fun, bright color. And I'm just gonna kind of dab around the yellow that I've already put on there. And if you just kind of tap, tap, tap the brush around there, it makes a nice little texture. And even if some of the brown is showing, that works well too, because it just shows some texture. So now I have the blue. All right, I'm going to wash off my brush again. And I think I'm going to switch back over to this brush. Okay. So, I think it looks nice to add color on the full body of the owl. So, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paint all around on the top and the sides and the back. And I'm going to use that bright red to really make him colorful. 
These are fun, just whimsical owls. You usually don't see owls with this many colors in nature, but it's fun because you're making them your own. And just creating your own special owl. You just go in and just cover. I started at the top at the ears. And I'm just going to go in all around the back. Just really add a lot of paint. And I'm using a little bit of water here to thin out the paint so it'll go on smoothly. So I'm just trying to work all of that red in there. Get around the edges. Now for this one, I'm going to glue on buttons for the eyes that I found at home. Ask a family member if you have some extra buttons laying around, or you could even use something else that's round to glue on there to make eyes. Just take a, a little bit of time to let your uh, owl dry before you glue anything on. Okay, so now I have my owl painted. He's starting to dry. It might be a good idea to wait a little bit longer to let yours dry, but I think mine is dry enough to add a few more things now. So I have some buttons that I found at my home. And I also have this fun little feather we're going to glue on the head. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add the buttons on the eyes. You want to just put the glue right on the back of the button. Okay, be careful that you don't add too much. Okay, and I did add quite a bit, but it will dry clear and not show. Okay, and so I'm going to add the other eye. Got to use a little bit less glue this time. Okay. All right, it's a little sticky and a little messy, but it will dry nicely for you. So you've got the eyes on there. Okay, now I'm going to add the feather. So for the feather, you just want to add a little bit at the base of the feather. Again, this gets kind of sticky and messy, but that is okay. It's fun to get a little messy when you're making some art. Just try to stick that on there. Okay, so again, that's Kind of a little bit tacky and sticky, but it'll dry nice and clear. So now we have the feather. Okay. And you want to set that aside and let it dry for a little while as well. So here's going to be your finished product when you're done. The eyes have dried. The feather has dried. And on this one, I did kind of a wavy pattern, but you can make any pattern that you want and just have fun making your own unique owl. Thank you for creating with us today. We had fun making these 3D critters with different found objects and paint. I would love to see what kind of creatures you can make with your paper tubes. You can make foxes, or cats, or other animals with pointy ears, or other things. You could even do self-portraits. Thank you so much for joining us for Recycle Your World. I had such a good time making these things, and I can't wait to see what you make too.